black belt says okay okay hold up video games are not art video games are a medium anything can be art a plate of food is art but you aren't going to burger king for the next mona lisa yeah i i agree i agree with you there and uh kind of so recently too I, i would say uh Go and check out Accursed Farms, a channel I have been following uh, God, since the early 2000s. Ross Scott, and I've mentioned this channel before in the past. Yeah, let me just even see where we're for. Although I don't know, because he, he worked with Machinima.com back in the day, where he posted his uh, Civil Protection series. Which was how I got to introduce him. He had like his first like few little videos out of civil protection. He has a kind of dry, weird sense of humor, but I just I enjoyed the shit out of it. He's also most known for his Freeman's Mind series, which is also great. It's just, it's him giving a voice to Gordon Freeman from uh, Half Life One and Two because he's now started into Half Life Two. Uh, wow, yeah, seventeen years ago. I've been following this dude for a long. It's like the the one YouTuber that's been pretty has stayed consistent with his, with his own process and stuff like that. And just in general, he hasn't gone into weird territories like some people out there, like some of the other YouTubers. Um, but yeah, like like it is 2007. Yeah, March 13th, 2007 was his was civil protection era um but his main big passion is stopping the death of video games and i certainly am all for that and that's been a lot of his uh point going on um oh god where was i going with that um through like his reviews on what he he also has a series called Game Dungeon, where he does a lot of reviews of video games, and he he's he's done this, he's brought this topic up several times where games are on a limited lifespan when they are always connected online and stuff like that. So for games like Battle Forge, uh, he did the the crew and what they've done recently to with via Ubisoft. From with the crew is they've killed they've killed that game and so now he is working to do a, all these petitions to try and uh let me just kind of i won't play the whole video i'll I, like it is I'll, I'll drop the link to the video if you want to take a take a watch yourself because I'll, I definitely recommend checking it out if you are interested because he's putting together a whole campaign basically uh to do this sort of thing and he himself also says yeah games are not net art art just because of all the different factors kind of like what you brought up uh uh imp you're you're pretty spot on there but um also what he did was he created this site stopkillinggames.com and i'll throw that link in the chat as well boom uh, so uh, to get started, this site is dedicated to uh, real-world action on ending the practice of publishers destroying video games they have sold to customers. Please click on the Take Action button below. Uh, uh, an increasing number of video games are sold as goods, but designed to be completely unplayable for everyone as soon as support ends. We were kind of talking about this with even Hell Divers and stuff, and that's a very very much a uh a, a tr- truthful thing you have to kind of accept for some of these things also like mmorpgs and everything the legality of this practice is untested worldwide and many governments do not have clear laws regarding these actions it is our goal to have authorities examine this b- uh, behavior and hopefully end it uh, as it is an, an insult on both consumer rights and preservation of media we are uh, pursuing this in two ways action on the crew uh video <clears throat> video game the crew published by ubisoft was recently destroyed for all players and had a player base of at least 12 million people 
Due to the game's size and France's strong consumer protection laws, this represents one of the best opportunities to hold a publisher uh, accountable for this action. If we are successful in charges being pressed against Ubisoft, this can have a ripple effect on the video games industry to prevent publishers from destroying more games. Um, and then government petitioning. Uh, official government petitions have been introduced to prohibit the practice of intentionally rendering commercial video games inoperable when support ends. Current petitions for the United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia have been launched and will soon be open for signing. Plans are also underway uh, for the European Union, but will all unfortunately be delayed due to processing times. Further government petitions may be started later uh, with enough assistance. And this is kind of the funny thing, too, is that... Um, um, anyways, for this, uh, the, the funny thing is, is as... Uh, Ross will detail in this video if you go, if uh, anybody goes and watches it. A lot of places are actually pretty open to the ability of somehow getting at least some uh, degree of action. Like amazingly, Australia was showing uh, some ability for it. It was just places like the United States, and yeah, like you point for like European Union stuff like that, a little more tougher. Um, but you know, <clears throat> these other places for sure, and. Um, so like you can just go into here, United States, uh, priority high contact. So he has everything all set up so you can follow these steps to help take action. So please uh, submit all responses in English in the description, describe the problem in your own words. You may want to consider saying or some, uh, some or all the following points. One with an asterisk are highly recommended. Uh, so, like he says, state your name and nationality. Uh, you brought, you bought, or own the video game The Crew from the French company Ubisoft. Uh, Ubisoft has forced the game to stop working. No one can ever use it again. Another asterisk is Ubisoft never informed you uh, how long the game was going to last when you bought it. And this is, yeah, that's very true. No, no game company. Uh, specifically states what how long their game is going to last there's usually a, a determining period of time of usually usually five to maybe ten years depending on the game and its popularity and also then how quickly they want to roll out a freaking sequel another final little asterisk is you you can you could uh contact them about trying to fix this and we're ignored and he does say like yes go on to the ubisoft website go through uh to do like a uh submit a ticket that the game doesn't work anymore that you can't play it and all that sort of stuff to really push through uh to all of that uh, again all this stuff is very detailed on the site uh, he even has like the low priority here, which I probably should have stayed up at the top. There we go. Priority low, contact the FTC. Uh, the medium high was contact the DGCCRF. And then priority low, spread the word on social media. And I, I did do just that. I did my part. And also now spreading the word here if you happen to have missed it like it is definitely go and check out his video on it he's also done a great video which is much longer though uh and he for for this in uh particular instance he actually has a campaign a game campaign adhd version which hang on This might be worth uh, checking out here is his ADHD version. So I'll pop that up really quick. Oop. Damn it. it helps if I share the screen. Refresh it. Wow. 
Okay, so I'm launching the largest ever campaign to stop video games from being destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. Like when a game shuts down, you can never run it again, but the publisher keeps your money. My money! Yeah, it's only in the US where that crap flies. Worldwide, it hasn't been tested. Lots of countries literally don't have laws on this. I've been spending months researching and organizing where to take action on this. We're doing this in two ways. Two! The first is Ubisoft has recently shut down The Crew, which had at least 12 million players. So if you own that game, you can help out. The Crew! The second is we're doing direct government initiatives for the UK, Canada, and Australia, but we'll try to have more. So this is kind of Anyone living there can sign those and maybe get the law to change. Go to StopKillingGames.com and it'll tell you what to do. Yeah! If you don't like losing your games, this is literally your only chance to change that. You will have to fill out forms though. I'm sorry. Oh man! All right, enough of this portrait mode crap. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, uh, his his longer video is much more detailed on everything that goes into it. Like I said, I definitely say take a look at it. Um, because uh, it, it for one is an interesting topic, and if you are about game preservation, want to keep those old games around, uh. Definitely, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take time to probably my next days off. I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and uh, go over everything and probably start trying to fill some of that shit out. Well, I don't know if I own the crew. I don't know if that's gonna be a requirement or not. I don't think I do, unless I grabbed it for free. But, anyways, absolutely for anybody else, that will be something to look into.